talk to the river to you guys it's me river river portia uh, i'm here with uh, another game it man there was like some kind of hurricane or something and it came and like, scared the crap out of me and i was like what the heck i just woke up my dude and there's this hurricane like right here so we're playing this game that i don't know the name of it's basically a game where the controls are super messed up, so you gotta fix all the controls. What's this? Okay, we got some new stuff here. Anyway, I'm gonna be using WSD, and I'm using the zero on the number pad to attack because the click is used for something else. So, um, let's. I'm already level 30 in this game. Uh, I, I wasn't really deciding on if I should do a gameplay of it, but uh, because it's an okay game. Basically, you travel around this hero that you can choose out of these few classes. One of them is Scout, I think Warrior, Archer, I think there's an Assassin, not sure. I kind of just found Scout and I just picked him right away. So I'm just going to be talking about uh, what I'm doing. I'm using this, this new thing that you can see here. It's basically, uh, it's basically this, this little dude. To move them around and stuff it's pretty cool it's this new thing i'm gonna place them right here because there's nothing really in the way but uh basically what it is is it's um it's a face recognition software that allows you for the person to use it as like basically uh you uh see look ah uh, oh ooh, uh like it goes based off of my face and you can switch it. This is the biggest one, so I'm gonna use this one. Uh, but we're attacking some of these guys here. Come on, die! Uh, there we go. I'm too tired to fix like anything on my face to do it, so I'll just use this face recognition until my face feels like it wants to be shown again. But we're gonna be using this face recognition for a little while now for gaming. Uh, so because it fits in really well like look I could change it to whatever the this area is like this guy He's like a little monster Hello. And like he could be like I don't know part of this game But I could change his anime character for playing anime games. This is an anime game, but yeah, it's not really an anime game It looks like anime from the characters point of view from down here But when you actually talk to people it they don't look like anime characters Okay, so we need to defeat some of these monsters, I believe. We get to level 22, basically. That These aren't the creatures I need. We're going to have to go fast. This game is very strange. I want to ask you guys if you think this game is 3D, or you think it's 2D and 3, half in a D, like um, Doom or something, like the original Dooms. But, uh, yeah, please tell me. I have no clue. I, I'm pretty sure it's 2D, but sometimes there's stuff that looks very 3D. We have to travel across this bridge. We gotta wait. I'm just testing it. Uh, uh, e, uh, oh. <laughs> it's so funny, the face recognition. Okay. Okay. We're going. Come on. Well, that's fast. Okay, let's over here. Let's go find those monsters. There's they're over here. I'm traveling over. Oh, these are guys that are part of the quest. We gotta defeat these creatures. It's a leafy. We gotta destroy leafy again. Okay, so yeah. I've been thinking about uh, oh no, I'm not supposed to say that. You guys don't even know about that yet. That's gonna be a surprise. Okay, so school has started up again. I mean, it's been on for a little while now. It's been a few weeks. But, oh man, school is just great, isn't it, guys? Isn't school just great? No, it's not really great. I wouldn't have to, I would say it's pretty torture. Pretty much torture. But what can you do about it, you know? Tell me how the school is going different for you guys in different areas, because I heard it's different for everyone. Over here, we have only four periods in Florida, 
and um, you have to wear a mask if you do go to the physical school. I do not go to the physical school, I do online. So you do not need to wear masks. And um, yeah, we just have to do four classes and each class is about an hour and 30 minutes. We start at like around eight and end around three. So it's pretty long. I mean, it's the same amount that I had last year. It, it's, 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 it's just the same, you know? <laughs> I mean, same time-wise, not same, like, amount of classes. I usually would have a lot more classes. And lunch period is extremely long because I also have this teacher that only does the, the webcam thing at a certain time. Like, she only does it on Fridays. So I have those four other days of the week where she doesn't go online. So I don't have to listen to her for the whole class. So I can actually just do work, or I can read a book, or I can, yeah, pretty much, that's what I do. I read some manga. So, yeah, let's talk about manga now. Um, yeah, manga, 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 let me think here. I've been reading this series about this kid called Neil. The, the whole series is called uh, The Tale of Demons and Dragons. Later, I find out, I'm pretty sure, it's not Japanese, it's actually Chinese, but, uh, you know, they're all Asians to me. Now, uh, one of the things is that it's about this main character called Neil. It takes place in, like, this fantasy world. I suggest it if you are a hardcore, like, reader and want to know a long story and love long stories, and you don't really, you know, um, want it to end... I mean, I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, uh, just get to the part, bro. But um, I've gotten pretty far. I'm on like episode 205 or four, somewhere in the 200s and the single digits. And yeah, basically it takes place in this fantasy world where there's these people that are, um, they're like called demons spiritualists or I'm not 100% sure basically what they are is they're like these well-trained warriors that train for warrior things and then they get demon spirits and kind of inject them somehow I don't know they never show it in the book or I must have fell asleep but at the part where they did but they put these little balls and kind of connect it to them in some way I'm not sure, but they, they connected somehow. And then they can kind of transform into that demon spirit that they have. So this guy named Neil, he, um, he, 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 like there's this city that, there was like this dark age where all the humans were like dying because of these monster demons that I think are the ones that you can put into the crystals that they can combine and use for themselves. Anyway, they're like really evil creatures. And they're like trying to destroy humanity, basically. And in the process of this like hundred or some a long time year war, the humans kind of like lost all their cities. And there's only like a few cities, but there's only one really main city. It's called Glory City. Basically, in in the future, uh, this kid Neil, he he's like he wasn't very strong. He's like a real wimpy dude. Um, when it comes to like there's whenever you when you become a demon spiritualist you have to have like two things you have to have these points of like strength and you have to have these points of like willpower or some kind of like cultivation power thing that's like, it's kind of like mana but they don't call it mana basically if you want to be the lowest ranked spiritualist you need to have at least 100 points of this mana and 100 points of like power of strength and if you have that then you're considered to be a bronze five which is like the lowest rank and they're like weep wimpy dudes now um the demon spiritualists they kind of they're like he was a wimpy like he was a level five willpower and like a level six or five strength physical power and what happened was, like, the city was getting, was getting attacked by, like, a huge horde, like, up to, like, a mid, like, over, like, a billion guy monsters, and they destroyed the city, and 
the glory city and now that he, uh, he becomes like he, basically there's there's no hope everybody kind of dies and he kind of gets he's a refugee and he's a survivor and he falls in love with some girl but she dies because of a monster because he's too weak to protect her and basically he becomes really powerful somehow because he becomes a nomad and finds treasures and stuff and does his cultivation to make him stronger and at one point uh, he becomes so powerful he he gets to like a high rank and like there's a ton of ranks so like the highest rank that people usually get to are the legend rank and then if you get higher than that it's called like heavenly rank and if you become a heavenly rank you can like your life span increases like extremely so i'm pretty sure neil based off of what it said neil became a heavenly rank and then he lived like over 500 years and he had all this knowledge and unfortunately somehow i forgot how he dies and then somehow i don't know how he gets reincarnated back in time into the body of his 13 year old self which is like the beginning of when he first got those his powers which weren't like his strong powers just like his level five and level five so he's in school and basically he he changes history he's it's basically like naruto but if naruto was ha, had was the whole movie naruto the whole thing except naruto dies at the end and they get re reincarnated with all of his all of his memories of, of his future kind of reincarnated future life that isn't a life that didn't happen but he remembers everything and then went back in time into his 13 year old body and now he knows how to do ninjutsu of every single kind in the whole world it's basically like that it's like a zero to hero kind of plot but except it's hero or it was zero to hero reincarnated hero to hero <laughs> or, or no wait it would be zero to hero uh, died, reincarnated, then zero to extremely fast hero. <laughs> that's that's what it should be called. There should be a new genre. Everybody try to figure out an acronym for it because it sounds very long. And if you guys can do that in the, the link, that would be awesome. Anyway, we just defeated uh, this quest. I'm going to go and get my rewards. Actually, I think I finished the quest a little while ago, but we're gonna still gonna go get, get it. It's down here. Okay, this game is pretty fun. I mean, I've been trying to find some more MMOs, and I think this is one I'm gonna be uh, grinding on for a while. If you guys remember, I had that Conqueror's Blade. I did not make a lot of videos of that because Conqueror's Blade is actually pretty boring for anybody that's trying to do. Uh, let's play a bit because there isn't any story at all in the whole thing it's just about leveling up and being the crap out of other people and I'm not good at uh, being the crap out of people so it's just me struggling to level up so because I was a pole class pole, cla pole axe a pole axe is not a very good weapon to attack people with it's only uh, or players with it's only good to attack the, um, the 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 smaller troops that the guys had like their little armies because he can destroy them so very easily so yeah but ever since uh i became level 101 in conquer's blade there isn't anything i can do it's just boring so i wanted to find a new mmo i was looking for a lot of stuff so i first wanted to start off by having like an mmo that wasn't really based off of fighting it was more based off of like Oh, you have a job. Okay, then you get a you get a family. You have your your son maybe, and like I don't know, you have a nice house. And I couldn't find anything like that that was newer. A lot of them were just not existent or very old games that weren't very fun to play. Unless, yeah, they're just different. It's different era of games that are harder to control and are not very simplistic like. MMOs today. Now, um, then I, I that was fruitless, so I, I went and I looked for different MMOs. There's another genre I wanted to do a very much so, and it was a genre where it would be a player-based economy. 
Now, there's a lot of games that already have player-based economies. Not the way I want it, though. I want it so that there's no, like, real amount of merchants. The merchants come from the players themselves, and everything's based off of finding resources. So, like, for instance, there's no way you could buy any, like, sword from a normal merchant. Every merchant would sell you just goods if they were NPC merchants. And then the rest would be, like, these towns. Or, or, or it wouldn't have to be anything. It would be just you have player shops. And then the players can own their own shops and people can come into them. And they can look at casings and stuff of what they have to sell. Stuff like that. And you just make your economy off of that. And it'd be super simple like that. And everything's about crafting. Either, either it had both of them or it was just about crafting. Or it just had the whole trading aspect. That would have been awesome. Uh, because, you know, if, if one of them exists, of course the other one's going to exist just automatically. That's how it would work in you know, a system like that. But um, I really wish that there was something like that. Now, there was. I did find a game. It was called The Gordon Project. Everything I literally wanted was in that game. However, the game is extremely expensive, and I do not have the dough at the time. I have it on my wish list on Steam, and I'm going to buy it in the future. And I will show you guys the shop that I'll have in the future. However, that is a long time. So now I need something to replace that time uh, and grind on. Because I need grindy games. So I was watching. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I had another genre that I was going to do. So, uh, let me think. Let me grind some more monsters. They'll, they'll get my head spinning. So there's another thing I wanted to do. I wanted to have an MMO where you can own your own houses in, or you can own, like, you know, a guild house to, like, you know, have for your friends and stuff. So I did find one of them. I actually got a friend to play it with me for a little while. Uh, it was a game made by Glyph. I think it was called Rune something. No, I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I can't tell you guys what it was named because it was a while back. I've been searching for an MMO that was, like, fun like Conker's Blade for me in a grindy way but also had new aspects to like play in so anyway the game was made by the same people that made Drove the Glyph company uh I in I actually before that I did play Trove for a while and I remember that game was somewhat of what I wanted however a long time ago when I was playing Trove they had this thing where you could make your own Basically, you can make your own place. You can make like this huge world if you get enough resources. I grinded for a very long time, like either uh, amount of, to a half of a year, and I became the highest level, like, like very high, at least the highest level, or either like very, very high level necromancer. And I think it was necromancer. Yeah, necromancer. He spot summons the skeletons, and um. And I got all the resources to do it. Once I created the world and I edited it, it was like a giant Minecraft map that I could do what the hell I want with it, but it was in Trove. And I could even have people to come in there, like a guild. But however, I found out that you, every five days, if you don't do like a certain amount of quests, or it was five days, or they might expand it now, you had to do stuff. Otherwise, they can't take the world away from you. And I was like, what the hell? I literally took like a few, like a, half a year to do this, half a year of my life, just to find out that the world that I've been waiting to build in and build a city in, build literally anything I wanted in a trove map. Like the hugest castle and the beautifulest, like, anything. I need to, like, conserve it by playing the game more. I can't just, like, oh, okay, I'm gonna take a break. And I can come back in a few weeks. No, it'll be gone in a few weeks. So I was very mad that Glyph did that. Very, very mad. It was a stupid idea that, to do something like that. It should have been, okay, it's your world, you can do what the hell you want with it. You literally spent this many resources on it. I mean, it was so expensive. It's one of, like, the fifth most expensive thing you can do in the game. So, like, that happened. But, well, I, I wasn't trusting Glyph for a while. And I didn't know that the game that I was playing with my friend was Glyph until a little bit later. And then when I logged in, what happened was it said, oh, you played Tro for a very long time. Here, we're going to reward you with the world in this new game. Well, it wasn't new, but they rewarded me with the world, and it, it was exactly what I thought it was going to be. They gave me special items. They gave me a special cape that had a Trove symbol on it, 
and they even gave me a world. Now, I wanted to build my own world from, like, I don't know, something that would have been, like, look like the actual game. It was just a Trove world. It looked exactly like Trove, but you couldn't do anything in it. You could, you could put, like, furniture down and, like, walls. That was it. You couldn't, like, have a chest or anything in that world. You couldn't have, like magical like crafting tables to craft stuff that you could build so the crafting aspect that i was looking forward to wasn't there very much and then the um, and then the world itself was not like a place that was inside of the world it was just like the trove where it was this area that you had to teleport to and it was in this like special little area that's only for it you can't like travel there on horse very dumb okay so then i went to another game Arch Age, which I also think was made by Glyph. I don't know why I did this one as well. So, I think it was made by Glyph, or another company. I'm 100%, no, I'm, I'm about 80% sure it was made by Glyph. Because I can't remember, this is a while back. Anyway, Glyph, uh, Arch, Arch Age. Uh, it's a game, fantasy game, very promising. It has uh, the crafting aspect that I was looking for. However, there's, and it was a good game, and everything I would have wanted, I might even get back into it because it was so good. But there was one problem, and I think I did get back into it, but I found that problem again. They have this system. Now, they have a system where you, the house that you buy in the world is exactly how as I was describing how I wanted it to be. The house is... In a world, in the, in the world, and you can travel to it anywhere with a horse. Anybody can come to your house and stuff, find it. Now, unfortunately, they kind of put you in these like giant, big squares that only players can build in inside of the world. It's kind of like a concentration camp for people that are heroes. And it, it, the problem with it is there's no slots. The, it, unless you, unless I, I didn't try this, but unless you play on like a server that has nobody on it. I, even then, I probably would have this problem. There's just no no sl space for people to live in, and I I searched like a a lot of areas, like the cheapest areas, of course, because I, I didn't have a lot of money, and I there's a lot of them, and they none of them had empty slots that you could build your house in at all and on top of that it's not what i wanted like it should have been like oh there's a road and each slot is on this road so it looks like a neighborhood or something it was like people could build these slots and build however they wanted and it, it wasn't like it didn't look good okay it looked like have you ever visited that one minecraft server that was popular a long time ago in like 2015 i think or 2014 i was still living in miami at the time it was um Maybe even back, 2012, it was this server where you, you, everybody was in creative mode, and you could build anywhere you wanted, and it had like this amount of people it could have. It was insane. It could have up to like a, a large amount of people, and I remember my, the computer I was playing on couldn't like handle it too well because there's so many people on it. But you could do whatever you wanted. You could build whatever you wanted, and the world looked like a giant heaping pile of crap because there was like any block you would think of in that update was like there and randomly placed and people you somebody would build a house and then like 10 other people come and destroy the house and put like sand everywhere or something it looked like that that was what arch age like building areas looked like it was like these people building these crazy houses in slots right next to other crazy houses it was a big mess okay you didn't know what you were looking at it was just crazy there was just no like anything to stop people from like making it not crazy anyway yeah and another thing I would have wanted is uh, the slots not to be like that they would be in different areas like they were just like these big plateaus and then the houses would be there they should have just put like oh these are slots and there are gonna be 20 of them and uh, you need to have at least two people to make to own a slot that should have been it. Like, they had a policy, like, you need two people to own a house. And that's, that's the condition. And that, that's what would have happened. You would need two people to uh, have a, a house. And, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and the slots would be separated. 
on these these areas like let's say there's there's a lot of mountainy areas in mmos let's say like there's a slide of a mountain and you could just cut into it and just put like houses there on the side so there's like a nice view that a person can make their house by but the slots aren't like too big so there were and then there would be a limitation of how high you could build the houses but but they wouldn't be too high you could have like three stories or four stories to your house and there's just enough room to where you can have at least three rooms on one uh, one uh, story or four rooms on one story. So that would make that would make eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve rooms. I think that's enough for anybody in that game to have twelve rooms and three stories. That's like a pretty nice house. And that should have been it. And you need and maybe like every time you want to expand you need like something like you need to either now nah, you just need like more players or something i don't know something like that that would have been very good if it was more of like the house system of how you could build it requires there you have two people to live in the house that would been that would be a good idea uh because there was just too many players and there's not enough houses and it was just a problem. And also, the way they set it up was horrible. There was a lot of open world areas that they could have just made houses on the road, like in those locations. On like, oh, there's a side path. Oh, these nice neighborhood that you could live in. Something like that, but no. Or another thing they should have done was uh, something like how Black Desert Online did it, but not like how they did it. The way Black Desert Online is a good game. It was very good. You could. It, uh, oh, that's right. Okay. So Dark Age, I forgot about it. Then I found Black Desert Online. I actually bought it and then played it. And I played it all the way till I was pretty much a level that I couldn't surpass. It was like level 56 or something. No, level 50. No, no, 60. Level 60. And I did it twice. I did. I did two characters to level 60. And then there's this city that was in the mountains that I found and I bought all the property with both accounts because I was so damn rich and I leveled them all up to max and I even I think I was gonna about to make the guild house but oh, I did make the guild house but I didn't make the guild house I made the guild not the guild house and I did that and that was great but um problem was uh you can get high level there was the crafting was not nah, there was crafting but it wasn't good at all and they had all these weird level point systems that i was trying to do to become a trader and buy a boat and it was not very self-explanatory it was very complicated and i thought i knew a lot of the stuff in the game i probably still do know a lot of the game stuff but because it's so complicated with all their storage systems and all these weird things and only it's imperial pearls and currencies and uh, and the levels and when you need to do and the, the black spirit needs to level up and you need to fight these guys all the kinds of stuff like that um, I kind of explored almost all of the world and uh, I kind of found there was just nothing more to do the, there was no extra systems that were interesting it was all about more point systems which they could have removed and made it more simpler and could have added different systems that were more player friendly to what people want to do so I kind of ended there that the game got I completed basically the game once you get uh, a lot of money based of the way I did it I was I became an online trader basically there's they have this market system and I I, I invested in some stuff at a good at good times like there was some armors that are legendary that were armors that I didn't care about because I had different armors that were like that and I bought them and also finding special items based off of the Discord server with the the boss announcer. I got all the bosses at the right time on the servers, and I basically got so much money, uh, or so many items that are rare and stuff, that I sold them on the market for billions and millions. A lot of them were for millions. And at the end, I became a billionaire and bought all the properties, bought the highest level sword on the market for my class, which I was a swordsman, and I had a, a giant great sword. I had these extremely legendary swords 
and shield and uh yeah i just it was like the highest level stuff you can't go any higher than that i mean like once you become a certain level in the game there's just, just not anything you can do the only thing i saw that you could have done was you could craft the armors but the crafting system requires workers and you have to have the right house and some houses can't level up to that certain degree so to get that was also a kind of impossible they did very well on how players could you know have an monopoly over city lands and there was enough land for all the players i love that a lot about the game however at the point of where i just <sighs> became very rich and there was nothing to do and i became rich on two characters I had, um, I think it was a mage, not a mage, it was, a. it was sort of like a mage. It's a mage without the hat, and kind of dressed up pretty sexy, but, um, she was my character for level 56, and then I had a swordsman that was a giant, he was the size of a giant, and he was level 60, and I played both of them for my guild. I even had a friend come on to play with us. Uh, yeah, and we basically became overpowered. That's about it. There's not really much to talk about when it comes to Black Desert Online. When it, when it, but yeah. So then I, yeah, I found another game, I think. I was looking for more games. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what I was looking for next because Black Desert Online was like one of the latest ones and I had another one between it. So, I was trying to think what I was going to do. Oh yeah, I took a break from MMOs. And I started playing some Settlers. Because I got bored. And I couldn't find anything. Maybe a few weeks or something would give me time to find it. And then I found... Oh, that's right. I remember. I got took a break. And then I started watching anime. And then one of the animes... I watched two animes. I watched this one. About a girl... I'm not gonna say the name. I'm just gonna describe the animes. They're they're both very similar. One oh no, I, I remember the names. Okay, the first I was okay okay. The first one was uh, there really are girls online. Basically, there's this guy, and he's a gamer. He's a high school gamer, and he um, basically uh, went on a, a server of an MMO and he kind of like uh he kind of fell in love with this character that was playing a cat cat girl inside of the game and kind of professed his love inside the game and asked her to marry him because there's a marriage system but uh then uh the cat girl told him that he's a 40 year old man playing this game and he was like oh oh man well, anyway, continuing on, he gets, like, a guild, and he has his person, and then he kind of figures out, I don't care what their gender is, I'm just not going to ask what they are, and I'm just, their character is the one I love, and he kind of fell in love with his other character, and, uh, from there, that somehow, they get to meet in real life, and he finds out that all the characters that he thought were, like, dudes were actually girls, and the one that he married was also this really pretty girl, inside the game and in real life but she doesn't know what reality and non-reality is so she thinks he's she's really married to him which is like pretty bizarre but anyway that was one and but the what, what inspired me for mmos was that the game looked a lot like this game the game they were playing looked so much like this game it's like they copied it <laughs> and then there's another one that also looked extremely like this game that also got me to play this game, or look for games that look like it, was another one where this girl, she, she's basically this 30 year old lady, and she quits her job because she's extremely stressed. She's a, a neat and lives in an apartment, and what happens is once she quits her job, she's like, you know what, I'm just gonna play some games to relieve my stress. So she goes, buys out some new monitors and stuff, and she downloads an MMO and plays it, and also falls in love with a character and later meets them at the end of the series or not the end or halfway into the series or she knows the person but doesn't know that character is the person and then later finds out towards the last episode that that's that person and then uh 
yeah, we already know where it's gonna go, but they kind of leave it at a point where they ended at 10, 10 episodes. They should have had two more episodes for that guy to convince his love, and then, uh, there we go, uh, happy, happy ever after, but kind of just left it as, oh, let's be friends, the end. <laughs> but, but what it really made me inspired was how the game looked. And then I looked for games that looked like that, and I didn't find any. So then I played more Settlers, and then I found some, and then I'm playing them right now. So that's how I'm here, playing this game. Great, right? What a story. What a story that is like, can be expressed in two words, or ten words, which I'm probably not going to make it ten words. It's, uh, finished game, depression, try find new game, found new game, found new game, uh, not good, not good, and found, uh, anime, out, found good game, now playing. <laughs> it's probably like 15 or 20 words, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to let you guys go now. I don't really have much. Oh, I leveled up to level 32. Yeah, boy. I'm going to be level 100 soon. And then I'm going to try my hardest to make this like an anime where I meet people and then they're my friends. But we do chat text and not talk with them so they don't know who I am. And then I become so good friends with them, just like those animes, which they probably never happen. Uh, we make a guild, marry them, and find them in real life. And then I, and then I either they're a guy or a girl, and I'm like, oh, oh, sorry, haha, <laughs> let's be friends. There we go. That's gonna be what I'm gonna do this, this school semester. <laughs> anyway, have fun, you guys. Um, have a nice uh, end of the week, and hope you guys don't die. Stuff like that, and yeah, well, trying to level up to level 100 here. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.